Sagittarius. Thank you, my darlings, for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers. I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Sag, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Pay it no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Sag, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so very much for your love and for your support of the channel. All right, my loves, let's talk about your energy. Um, coming into your energy, I feel extremely due diligent. You know, um, I feel disciplined. I feel like you're on your diet regimen. You're keeping to your schedule. Uh, you're very conscious of uh, time, energy, effort, finances. Um it's it's uh how can I it's it's um I don't know how they would say that X's and O's or um math I, I don't I, I don't know how to explain the energy I just feel like I, my back is up straight you know I just feel at attention I feel um it's just I'm very aware I'm very aware of who I am where I stand right now I'm aware of what needs to be done. I have, uh, have a plan and I am in uh, activation of that plan in this energy. Like I, I just, that's how I feel. So basically right now, I think there's a great, great, great focus on discipline, time management, things like that. And if any or anything or anybody is uh, dis uh, disruptive of this, it's just not uh, access denied access denied. I don't even have, like at this point, if I, I don't know, need something from the store, I, if it doesn't, how can I say this? If it doesn't, in my mind, compute that it's worth like the, the gas that I'm going to use to get from my house to the store, then there's no sense of me taking that trip. Like it has to make sense right now. That's how I feel in your energy. My time, energy, effort, it just has to make sense because I'm very due diligent. I'm very focused um, in what I'm putting out and what I expect in return from what I'm putting out. So let's see what's going on. Can I have Sagittarius, please? We're pulling your oracle from the dreams of Gaia. Can I have Sagittarius, please? Yeah. Three of fire here. Wherever you were or are, you've done your part. You're exploring new. You're, you're really trying to just expand your horizon, so to speak. You know, if this was traditional tarot, three of wands energy would be, okay, uh, my job was to get from here to here, and then I should be able to collect, the, you know, the fruit or wait for my ship to come in at the shoreline um, for my labor because my job was to get from A to B, you know? And in the dreams of Gaia, the shoreline that the ships are coming in is is a little more expansive because the ship that comes in is not really a ship bringing you things. It's more so you made it to the edge, now cross the threshold and see what else you can get. You know, see what you're not seeing. Um, experience what you haven't experienced. You know, it's a very exploratory kind of energy. But do you see this focus? OMG. Seriously, that's how I feel in your energy, like focus, 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 focus. Um, this is the four of fire here. 
Four of Wands energy is an energy uh, for this deck of extreme focus. Uh, for traditional tarot, this would be celebratory. It would be balance. It would be um, having a goal and achieving that goal and, and really being excited about that. Uh, it's also a portal energy, which this speaks to, again, reaching that threshold and going past it, reaching that boundary, going past it, like stepping outside of that comfort zone. But look at this here, three of wands, four of wands, right into abundance. You have a plan and it's in activation as we speak. Okay. This is not you saying, thinking up something while you're crying in the middle of the night. No, the plan is in action. Steps have been taken already. And your focus is very, very due diligent to achieve whatever the goal is, even if the goal is to explore, expand, test the waters, you know, experience, things like that. Because abundance is not always about financial uh, goals. It's also uh, whatever is important to you, whatever is meaningful to you. So this could be your health, you know, improving, uh, improving, excuse me. That's why I was saying earlier, like your diet is really, really strict, things like that. Your health, your finances, um, your relationships, your uh, happiness as a whole, uh, your spiritual edification and connection, things like that. But what's behind abundance is even better because here comes destiny. Hello, hello, your 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 partner in life or your life path, you know, your assignment, you know, what you're sent here for. You stepping into alignment with that. You are on fire love right behind that because i just think that you are just really in a good place and it's almost as if you can taste victory you can taste success you can taste accomplishment and achievement and it's like two three four more steps and boom you're there i love this are you kidding me hold on let me get me a deck because i'm, I'm excited now i need some meat and potatoes Ooh, i am loving this let's Take it back old school. Let's do writer. Because sometimes it's just basic. Hard work and discipline. Happiness. Happiness. You have reached a point where you're saying, you call judgment on anything less than the best. You know? I remember talking to you guys about, what was it? somebody offering you a slice and you're saying I want the whole pie or it's like you call judgment on anything less than complete anything less than complete it doesn't have to be the best like you're not asking for I don't know like Gucci diamonds and stuff like that but I need complete I'm giving you 110 I need 110 okay period. That's all you're saying. Now, if your 110 is a cookie, then that'll be the best cookie I have ever had because I can appreciate it. You understand? Because you feel appreciated. You want 110, you're given 110. And if you don't have the response or that return in your um, surroundings by, you know, people, places, and things, then you're willing to step outside of your own comfort zone because you know it exists. Bad behind Sagittarius. I almost curse. <laughs> Woo! Let me have the core. What is at the center of this energy? Please and thank you. Look at that. Independent fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Look at it. Yeah, you're tossing that back and forth. You're exploring your new happy. You're, you're new happy. You're not completely closed off to reality. So it's not like you're out here like F you and F you and F you. You know, it's not like that. But what you're saying is I am in a new space with myself. I am in a new space with myself and I understand that life be life and people be people in and I've considered some things I've tossed some things back and forth and I've concluded that there is an existence in this lifetime where I can be happy and fulfilled in addition to life life and people people in the world world and I know it exists and I want to see what it tastes like I want to smell it I want to live it. Look at you. You are taking a fool's journey. I love this. 
I love this. Okay, you're taking that leap of faith, stepping outside of your boundaries and comfort zone, taking that leap of faith. Okay, same energy. But you know, it's because you know there's something out there. It's like you're, like you're being uh, lured into the world, into uh, uh, spaces maybe that you've never traveled or um, a completion that you've never uh, indulged. Look, you, you don't know. Oh my goodness. What is it? How's the song go? I don't know who holds tomorrow, but I know who holds my hand. You understand what I'm saying? You are taking a blind, blindly. Oh, Sag, this is so beautiful. And you're doing it with your whole heart. You're doing it with determination. You're doing it knowing that life beat the heck out of you, but you still know there is something out there worth fighting for. I know I'm not here for nothing. Okay. I know I'm not here for nothing. That's what you're saying. And you're going in with your whole heart uh, towards the fulfillment of life. Crown this energy for Sag. What's hanging over their head right now that can assist them? The hangman is in reverse and so is the devil. Okay. This is your assistance. And let me just pull my deck around. Because y'all know I don't mess around. My deck is tight and upright. But when it comes out reverse, I do read it as such. Okay? Now, Hangman, Piscean Energy, and I have the Devil, Capricorn Energy here. What's hanging over your head, and remember, this is assistance. Okay? Chains broken. You know, with that Devil in reverse. Taking positive energy from um, the devil would be Capricorn energy. You understand that? Remember, I was saying that due diligence, that focus, that hard working, that determination, that's Capricorn energy. If you're going to master devil energy, do it in reverse because you're basically taking the positive of that uh, devil energy, meaning, uh, like I said, hard work, due diligence and things like that. Remember, devil energy is oppressing. It's suppressing. So it can turn like infatuation into obsession. You know, it can turn uh, hard work into workaholic. It, you know, things that can be really empowering, it just uh, makes it toxic, okay? Too much of anything is bad, right? But when it's in reverse, you're saying it, it, the energy is there in a positive way where it could uh, motivate you, build you, um, increase you. You understand? And like I said, change broken. There's no suppression. There's no oppression. Okay. Nothing is stopping you because of that discipline that you have. You're not holding me back, right? Hangman coming in reverse because to be honest, I just think this is a blind leap of faith, period. This is an energy of taking another perspective, looking at it another way, possibly being in a maybe um, toxic environment and not realizing it. So the most high stops you for a second and says, wait a minute, look again, look it from this way. So you can see all aspects, basically putting on those godly glasses, those godly goggles, okay? <clears throat> but this... This is what, this is like a, what do you call it? A tunnel vision, tunnel vision. Okay. Keep your tunnel vision. Okay. And utilize this Capricorn energy. You are not bound. You are not broken. You are not suppressed. You are not held back. You are not toxic. Whatever it was that there is no fear. There is nothing to fear, you know, because that's a trick of the enemy. God didn't give us that. Okay. Um, and it's coming in here with this 10 of wands, this energy to pull down from because some things are in this process, you're going to leave behind what you couldn't let go. That's the thing. That's why you're going to need to stay focused. Keep that tunnel vision because you're leaving behind what you couldn't let go. Did that make sense? Um, I don't know how else to explain that. Um, help me with my words. Help me with my words. Um, leaving behind what you can't let go. So it's kind of like, let's say this is a relationship. Let's, let's do love. Love is always, people always, uh, can, uh, relate to love, right? So let's do love. I love my daughter, you know, but she's 34 years old. Okay. I still love my daughter. I see this 34 year old, just like the, the baby when she uh, just said, wow, 
okay, the day she was born, right? So um, it's no such thing as leaving behind when it, uh, it when this is your child, okay? That'll always be your child. They will always be a part of you in some way, shape, or form, okay? So what I, but what life has done to you, Sagittarius, is kind of put you in a focus that now, because I could not put my daughter down, meaning I'm carrying the weight of her problems, her uh, journey, of her uh, lessons, of her uh, karma, uh, you know, things like that, okay? Let's say I could not, as a mother, put it down because I love my child, but I knew God was working in her life, so God start working on me with mine. So now I gotta work, I'm working overtime, or now I'm working um, away from home, so I'm not even accessible anymore. So that's what I'm saying. If you stay focused on your task and on your journey, stay focused, it's allowing you to leave behind what you couldn't put down. I hope that makes sense, okay? Let's see what's in the way. What's working against... Sagittarius. What's in the family? See, love. It really, it, it's a pickle. It's a pit, and the Ten of Wands is still here. Woo! Sag, I love you, baby, but you know your love is strong. You know it. We talk about it all the time. Even though it's misunderstood a lot, that makes it no less genuine. No less genuine. Um, so love is a hard thing. If healthy emotions, uh, you know, um, healthy relationships, uh, healthy celebrations, healthy gatherings, you know, healthy emotional space is sometimes difficult to uh, maintain. It's sometimes easy to get, believe it or not. We can actually have a laugh anywhere, right? We can watch a couple of videos on YouTube and get a good laugh, but to maintain that feeling is hard. OK, in this thing called life, it's hard. But as you move on, you start to understand that sometimes it's because there's no room. There is no room for that laughter and that joy to stay with you because of the burdens that are taking up so much space in your spirit. You know, so it's going to work against you to focus on anything or anybody other than you right now, be selfish for a second, okay? Be selfish. They call you selfish anyway, Sag. Would it really make a difference? Like, seriously, I love you, but you know, we talk here. They, everyone calls you selfish. No matter how much you show up, even though you're the first one there, you got the best gifts for the party, you're the last one to leave, you're cleaning up, you know, you're the one checking in when they're sick, uh, you're the one that pays for the girl's trip first. You pay your part. Like it doesn't matter. At, at some point, somebody is going to blame you for being selfish. It's a part of your energy. We talk about that. We do. We talk about that. Okay. So for this time, in this moment, in this season, let it be true. How about that? Where is this coming from? Please and thank you. And we're not going to call it selfish. We're going to call it uh, self-love. How about that? Self-love. Emperor coming in sideways. You've been trying to get control of a situation for quite some time. And it just seems to always and never. You know? Uh, when the emperor comes in sideways, it, uh, an emperor energy is boss energy, whether if it's upright, whether it's sideways, or even in reverse. You cannot unbe a divine masculine. You can just not operate in that divine masculine, okay? This is a birthright energy, okay? It's been your birthright to boss, period, okay? To rule, to have control, you know? Um, however, it's just lately been in this past energy, the, it's like the mountains... Woo, the mountains have been so strong and tall that even when you mow through, it just seems to never end. That's how I feel in this energy. Like I'm trying to tunnel through a mountain um, and it's just not moving. But 
in the in in that same respect, uh, you know, your there's a voice activation in my throat that I should be telling the mountain to move, not doing physical labor for the mountain to move. It was like I I almost and never. I, I don't know how to explain that. What's in here? Oh, like yeah, toilet paper torture. It's like you couldn't see your full value, worth, honor, position, um, authority. It was like, in your mind, I'm stuck. I can't do that. That's my daughter. I can't do that. I need this job. I can't say that. They, that's going to hurt their feelings. I can't do that. Then they're going to call me this again. I can't do that. Then then it's my problem. I can't do that. But then, then I'll be alone again. I can't say that. You understand? So it's like you could, like you tried to tame the boss in you as best you could with any kind of explanation or justification of why it was either wrong or not necessary or wrong timing um, to be the boss that you know how to be. This is your, I don't care what nobody say. I know that technically this is Aries and Taurian energy, but Sag, if you don't know nothing else, you know about being a boss. You know about this. You can run a ship. Okay, you can you can rule for sure. Where are we going with this? Please and thank you. Future energy for Sag. Ah, you got to control those emotions. You got to. It's not your. It's not, you're not known for being super duper emotional, but you and I know when nobody's around. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, if they knew the depths of your pain. King of Cups coming in the future because remember we talked about happy. We talked about family, um, emotional bliss and fulfillment. I said be selfish for a while. You know, be fair, but be selfish. Um, the future has you coming into an energy of um, not kind of like emotional how can I say this? <sighs> development. It's more so, I, I guess I could say development. The King of Cups is very emotionally controlled. You know, he's full of le love from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. But he can walk by his queen and say, I don't know that heifer. I ain't never seen her a day in my life. And it's not because he don't have, he doesn't have love. He just don't wear his emotions on his sleeve. Like nobody would know. You know what I'm saying? The thing about the king, the, his cup is controlled. He knows when to pour, when to drink. When to pour, when to drink. His emotions are controlled. You know, they're controlled and that breeds maturity, emotional maturity, and that emotional maturity breeds emotional intelligence. You understand what I'm saying? So... This is where uh, life is taking you because um, this air energy, this queen of swords here, you're learning just as much as you're teaching, okay? And it's going to, I, I think it's going to kind of by um, default, default uh, cut some things out of your life and it's going to cut some people in your life. Um, including yourself. I love you, Sag, but I have to call it like I feel it. Um, including yourself. You're getting a lesson in that it's okay to sometimes say, this is not okay. This is like, I'm holding my peace, but uh, what is it? Uh, Y'all running amok. But if I say something, I'm wrong. You know, that's how I feel. So it's like life is saying to you, Sag, you know, maybe it was sometimes when your lip got a little flip, you know, maybe it was sometimes where you took it too far. This, but at this point where you are in your journey spiritually and where you are in your relationship with the most high, you should be at least at a point where you know um, when to boss up and when to allow others to leave, you know? And right now that's still torn for you. So intuitively, it's kind of like trying to figure out, is this my brain? Is this my intuition? 
Is this my cuckoo kicking in? You know what I'm saying? Is the cuckoo out the clock? You know, let me know. <laughs> but for those resonating with this energy, um, it's almost as if the most high is working with you because you're in a space where it's it, that you are, you, um, how can I say you are, so you've surpassed, um, more than you think, you know, you've gone further than you realize that kind of thing. Okay. So that's why I said, I think you're learning and teaching at the same time. All right. Look at that. Yeah, definitely learning and teaching. You know, these are both teaching energies, very logical, very intelligent, okay? Great communicators, okay? Great communicators. But because this is the feminine, she's going to cut you, but she's going to kiss it, okay? The king, he's going to cut you and let you bleed because he needs for you to hate that blood and let it remind you to never say that again, never do that again, okay? Okay? To, to be firm and correct, all right? So there's a great, great uh, lesson and teaching in this energy. And in the, in the, it's not one of those being dragged through the mud kind of lessons either. This is all about you, Sag. You should be where, where what this is telling me is that the Most High is saying, baby, you, you know what you've done. You know what you've seen. You know what you've learned. You know uh, what you've accomplished, okay? Um, you know all of these things. So, But when it comes to where you are emotionally fueled or emotionally um, connected, you know, it's like you toss it back and forth like a hot potato. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You know, eggshells have no room here. We keep a clean house. Ain't no eggshells on this floor. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're now stepping back into that energy where you learn how to defend yourself in this new state, in this new level, in this new development. You're learning new of how to defend yourself or being reminded of how to defend yourself, okay? Because people, places, and things are supposed to be people, places, and things, all right? That's not change, but because you took it up a notch, new levels, new devils, right? So get back into you, what you know. Sometimes you gotta get back to meat and potatoes, you took, even with this deck, what did I say? Let's take it back to basics with this deck, with the writer, you know, my first deck. Sometimes you got to go with what you know. And if you know that from the, the, the mud or the muscle, you can do this, you know, and for a, a woman, uh, you know, maybe you do all those fancy things, uh, with the, everybody doing fancy things with their face and, and regimens and stuff like that. You know, sometimes you just go to what you know, what sea breeze or noxema. You know what I'm saying? That like it still works. It still works. It's familiar. It still works. You know, and it gets you back to at least a place of stability and strength. What that's familiar to you. So when you're going into this new level and you're trying to kind of like focus on the quality of your life, you may be disheartening of what you know your. Uh, what's available to you, you know, you start, and then you get this message, like, did you check over there? Have you ever been to that store? Have you ever been to that neighborhood? Have you ever considered moving over there? Have you hung out with those kind of people? Have you ever tried that kind of craft? Have you ever took that kind of class? Like you getting all these, and it's like, well, wait a minute. I don't know if I could do that. Because now the strength got to come in to keep you, um, yeah, because maybe you had fear or uh, chains before, but remember they're broken. So strength is coming in to remind you to step into your divine, remember who you are and control whatever might be trying to implant or suppress or oppress your movements, thoughts, and decisions, okay? So you can go ahead and make that move, two of wands energy, yes. Stepping right into holding the world in your hands because there is no limits, this is the world is our oyster. We just have been so programmed in so many other different ways, but it really is ours. When you look out and see the world, that's your backyard. That is not your prison. Okay. So little at a time, 
You're trying something new. You're testing the waters. You're smelling new air, whatever the case is. And it's blessing you so hugely just for you to take that step. That one step is blessing you in, in a way that you couldn't even imagine. Sag, this is huge right here. Abundance in a huge way. That focus brings that abundance. You see how he's focused on the little, stay focused. His eye is not off of this pinnacle at, at not one time. Remember, tunnel vision. Stay focused on that one thing. Look at her eyes. Focus, right? Right into abundance, right into abundance. New car, new house, new job, whatever the case is. Lottery, I don't care. The Ace of Pentacles is tangible. You can hold it in your hand, you know what I mean? And you worked for this. Come on, come on. You work for this, mastering your craft. Nothing but victory and success is coming out of this. You're getting the victory and success of abundance. So that means that you're gonna get the fruit of your labor. You're gonna get the acknowledgement and recognition of the journey that you've had to endure. And you're getting the wisdom of the lessons that you learned along the way, okay? Simply because you had to learn how to walk away from emotions that would never ever be what you expected or what you wanted or even what you were asking God for because the answer was never no. It just wasn't there or in the way that you thought it should produce, you know? So let's say I'm that mother and my child you know, they're, they're, I love my child, but they're just not getting to this understanding of happiness, to this 10 of togetherness of family. They can get this, but they're not getting that. I pour, I pour, it just never goes. Sometimes, Sag, you have to turn your back and walk away and let God be God in their life while he's being God in yours. Remember, your cup... Uh, you, uh, fill of over. So the overflow of your cup will fall down into your blood. You understand what I'm saying? And you have ancestral assistance with this six of cups here. I smell love too. Uh, Pisces is here. Gemini is here. Oh, wait a minute. Aries is here. I'm sorry, Sag. I'm <laughs> Oh, Sag, there's love here. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we have some uh, past life connections definitely reoccurring. Um, like I said, ancestral assistance, past life assistance, um, angelic assistance. Uh, but it's a forward moving energy that, you know, the six of cups, it's still keeping it pushing. All right. Um, this kind of reactivates your new activation or re, um, how can I say that? Hmm. Help me with my words. Help me with my words. Empowers, I guess, your new activation. Like you're activating a new level of your intuition, a new level of your spirituality, a new level of your optimism, of your faith, you know, things like that. The high priestess is intuitive, yes. Um, uh, but in that intuition, there's our gifts, there's foresight that the most it's kind of like watching the trailer to the movie before you go see the movie the high priestess gets the trailer of life so that when decisions need to be made in the physical realm they've already been considered uh spiritually you understand and there's the decision yeah see the high priestess energy you're going to get a download a dream or a feeling of something that's coming so when you're faced with this situation the enemy is going to try to trick you and say okay choose from all of these when the choice is really simply between two okay so make sure you focus on the two that best suits you today today not yesterday not tomorrow today okay so i know that's not something easy it's easier said than done but it needs to be done nonetheless, because when we reach those thresholds, especially coming after some type of cycle of um, edification, you know, when it does come time to make decisions in life, sometimes we'll stand at that fork of the road and we'll say, listen, God, right? Listen, we cool, right? We done, we done made it through. And um, see this right here, just let me know what to do, because I don't want to mess up like I did before. All right, let me know what to do and I'll do it. It's cool. You know, I'm okay with whatever you say. 
you know, but that takes from us free will. You're voluntarily blindfolding yourself because now your mind is overthinking because of the emotions of yesterday, okay? So when you're in this energy, when you're facing decisions in life and you're kind of really not wanting to even consider either or, I don't want to even face the decision itself. It's not saying I don't want to choose. It's saying I don't even want to have be in that position, you know? When you're in that, you have to push through that because on the other side of it is balance. All right. On the other side of that is celebration. On the other side of that is portal energy that can take you to wherever it is that you're supposed to be or that you uh, wish to be. Okay. With this four of wands, but it is a difficult uh, process. It's not easy. And as no more than how much we say that over and over again throughout life, we have to admit as a human race, if you're going to be cognitive of, of the cycles and chapters of life, we've all come through some things and really look back and we know that we had to go through it to really fully understand it. At the in the morning in that moment, we may not have understood. But then when you get out of it, it's like, man, I you know what? I had to go through that. I had it had to happen exactly like that because I wouldn't have listened no other way. I wouldn't have believed it no other way. I wouldn't have achieved it no other way. You know what I'm saying? So that focus that it kind of reignites your passion. Um, it's like, you know what? This is, I can do this. If this is what it is, this thing called life, I can do this. Yeah, I got this part, you know? And that's how abundance starts to increase in every area of your life because you get it. You start, you get the, the, the system, the matrix, the doctrine, the programming, you, you, you start to get it, you know, and that's why you're taking this leap of faith. And this is where we started. And this is where I'm going to leave it. Sags, this was awesome. Awesome. All right, my loves. If any event you say green eyes, listen, I don't know you. You don't know me. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free, and it does support the channel. If you're interested in a personal appointment, I respond to email requests only. My email is perfectlyimperfecttarot at gmail.com. Guys, I appreciate you, and I thank you in advance. Um, if you want to sow a seed or make a donation, that information is also below the video. There's also links for PayPal and Cash App for your convenience. Other than that, please remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.